Hello, welcome to Out of Vintage. My name is Jonathan. Um, and today we're having a bit of a channel update. We did a bit of a QA. Uh, the last two videos I've not had much luck with. Uh, the GoPro corrupted a big video that I did, and it took a couple of hours, which I still now need to re reshoot. Um, and I filmed a QA, but I got a new phone, transferred everything over, and of course that video didn't transfer over, and I'd wiped the other phone to give it to my kid. Uh, so I lost that footage also. Um, so I apologise for the just the inconsistency with the content lately. Um, I've just been away to London for the weekend. Uh, if you've followed social media, you've obviously seen. It was a fantastic meeting. Voy, Billy, um, Ellen from Dr. Green Jeans, um, and going down to Depop and having a look around the HQ. So thanks to those guys. Um, interesting chat with them. We'll have some stuff coming out with that later. Getting away for the weekend is something that you should all look at doing. Um, get, getting away, having a break, having a break from your normal day-to-day -day routine is very, very good just for having a mental reset. Uh, really kind of helps clarify where you are, the situation that you're in, and kind of how you want to move forward. Um, so it's something I definitely encourage everyone to kind of try and do, especially before you head into winter. Having just a weekend away now, even a day away now, just so you can go sit, be out of your current uh, environment, really kind of helps uh, get the ball rolling a little bit, which is where we are now. So I'm going to do the Q&A bit from last week because, um, you know, we've got to answer those questions. Um, and then we'll have a bit of a channel update and kind of what we're doing moving forward. Um, and what the plan is for the channel and all that fun stuff. So the first bit of the Q&A was how to deal with low balls. Um, don't do what I do. I'm generally pretty bad with it. All I've been behaving lately. Basically just say to them, uh, price is firm. You can post it tomorrow if you want it. Nine times out of ten, the low ballers aren't actually interested anyway. They're just fucking idiots. So ignore them. Um, if it's on offer already, just say, it's already on offer, you can post whenever your next post is. Um, and if they start arguing or being a dick, just block them. It's far easier. Uh, if it's a decent offer, then just say to them, sure, let me know when you're ready to uh, buy and I'll change the price. Because again, nine times out of ten, they're just wasting time. Um, so, yeah, don't worry too much about low balls. They're just fucking idiots. You know, they, they need to see some kind of age restriction or verification system on Depop. But there isn't. <clears throat> Anyone can join. So we've got to deal with that. Um, the other thing, finding supplier suppliers. Uh, don't worry about finding supplier suppliers. Um, your supplier is spending a lot more money on stock than you do because if you had the money to spend on the amount of stock they do you would yourself be a wholesaler right so don't be threatening about your supply supplier they tend to have very very large um minimum spends to get the price where you can resell it at wholesale so you're not going to be going out saving your money um by doing that unless you're spending i mean the, the lowest one i found so far is about eight grand um and even then like if you want the right a good price like a price that you could really benefit from it you're looking at 20 grand so focus on what you need to do don't worry about what everybody else is doing it's kind of unnecessary uh thought pattern focus on your immediate profit is probably the best way to look at it until you're built up to the point where you can start doing that and even i am only kind of just at the entry point of doing that myself um so that's that. Barbers. Uh, how do we know which barbers are worth uh, and which ones to look out for? Now, barbers are pretty funky. The older barber, the better. Uh, this is a one crest. You see the crest there? That means it was from like 1974 to 1982. Two crest. We've got a two crest at hand. It's a three crest. I'm sure there's a two crest in here somewhere. Two crest, nice. Uh, two crest one, 1982 to 1987, and then your three crest is 88 onwards, basically. Um, any of the ones that have the darker green lining, like them, they're your older ones, they're worth more. Solway Zipper, 
Game Fair, Northumbria, uh, three of the bigger ones that aren't produced anymore. If you can get them in the older ones, they're worth a lot more money because they, well, like I say, they can't, they're not produced anymore. Um, the Northumbria, they did update in the 2000s, but the update was shit, so just don't bother. And then they discontinued it completely. But they're the original barbers. They're the original big three. Beaufort's, B-Dales, um, and then your Solway Zippers, which is like your international looking one. Uh, Durham's as well. Any, Basically, any old barber, <laughs> any old barber you're fine with. Just check the sleeves, because the sleeves can tear apart. Oops, tripping over things. You see the sleeves on here. That's the main point where they go, because the cotton just wears through on the sleeves from friction. Um, there was other questions, but honestly, I can't remember what they were. So we'll kind of leave the questiony bit there. Uh, onto the channel. Um, so I kind of actually spent an hour or two looking back over the channel and kind of looking at what we'd produced so far um, and where I wanted to go. And I've kind of chopped to change things quite a bit. So I kind of wanted to reset a little bit. Um, one of the things that I was going to be doing for Depop was a like an intro to wholesale, like four little five minute videos, um, just kind of covering what wholesale was, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and I know there was other videos on other topics like storage and whatnot. Um, and I liked the idea, but uh, they want me to stick to a script. The script wasn't something that I was comfortable doing because it just, uh, it was very limited. Um, so I decided not to do it, but I'm gonna do it for myself anyway. <laughs> Um, also, we're going to be visiting sellers. This is the big one. We're going to be visiting resellers like yourself. Sorry, one second. Uh, visiting resellers like yourself. Um, doing a bit of a Q and A, showing their favourite stuff, what they like to sell, their hints and tips for um, doing what they're doing, keeping the passion alive, and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, so if you do have any questions for other resellers, so you're not just getting my opinion, you're going to be getting other top sellers' opinions, whether it just be Depop, eBay, etc. Um, if you'd like to see that and you've got questions that you'd like me to ask them, or just like, uh, the stuff that you'd like to see from them, whether it's their storage solutions, uh, how they photo their stock, etc., uh, let me know in the comments below. I'll be sure to do that. Hopefully the first one will come out in a couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, so kind of that's the way we're looking. We're going to tighten up the uh, how-to series, basically. We're going to tighten that up, make it nice and concise, small videos uh, with all the basics. Um, and then the bigger videos will be uh, with the other sellers, kind of showing you what they do talking you through their day-to-day, -day, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, and then there'll be the occasional like haul drop when I get stock that I feel is interesting enough to share. So there you go. I uh, hope you've had a great weekend and uh, I will see you in the next one.